بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم So inshallah today we're moving on to the next nasikh We're moving on to the next nasikh Okay What's this nasikh? Uh, those particles which resemble laysa So those huruf which resemble laysa They also do amal and they also cause governance So we're under nawasikh And there are three types of nawasikh Without doing these Okay So we have the nawasikh The kano wa khawatuha we finish off Kano Akhawatuha and now we're moving on to this. This is our topic of discussion today. And the rest we'll do later on, inshallah. So Wama and Nafia to Indal Hijazi Yin Kalaisa. Ma and Nafia. The Ma which is for what? Uh, negation. Not Mausula, not Istifamiya. But the Ma which causes a negation. That's the Mubtada. And the Khabar is what? Kalaisa. So we have here. But according to who? Indal Hijaziyin. According to the Ahlul Hijaz, which is the Loga of the Quran, the dialect of the Quran, according to the Ahlul Hijaz, Ma and Nafia is like Laysa in his Amal. Therefore, you have Laysa Zaydun Qa'iman. You also have what? Ma? Ma Zaydun Qa'iman. Correct? Yes? You following? That's a simple, basic rule. However, there are a few conditions for this. Laysa always makes his ism marfu and he always makes his is, is khabar wa mansub. You following? However, however, uh, there are certain cases, there are certain conditions for ma to do amal. Without these conditions, ma will not do amal. Understood? For example, we have here, the ism must come first. So condition number one is what? That the ism must come first. So the first condition is in al ismu. The isa must come first. So for example, we have an example here. Ma musiun man a'taba. This two is of doing this ibara, but we'll do it one way. We say here, musiun becomes what? Musiun becomes. We say here. Ismu. No, it's not ism. Musiun becomes. Khabarun Muqaddamun And man a'tabu becomes what? Ismu Ma Al-Mu'akhar You follow? So are these the conditions that it needs to be For ma to do amal To so be like Laysa or to do amal? To do amal which is like Laysa To become like Laysa So in this example Man a'tabu is the ism Is the ism muqaddam over the khabar or the khabar muqaddam? What's happening in here? Because the khabar is muqaddam, it's musi'un. The khabar is not mansub. The khabar is what? Between what? Because if you have nakira, and man is ism mausu, is ma'rifa. So this is nakira. So nakira becomes the khabar and the mutra becomes the ma'rifa. So the ism becomes the ma'rifa. So that's why we say here in this example, uh, you will not allow. In this example, man uh, a'taba will be the ism and it's mu'akhar. But because it's mu'akhar, there's no amal. Yes? That's one condition. The next condition is, you can see the text a bit small, that it should not be preceded. Meaning, before the ism, we must not have any of the following. Number one, there should be no in za'idah. In za'idah means? Before the ism. There shouldn't be an in za'idah before the ism. If there's an in za'idah before the ism, there will be no amal. For example, it's part of a poem. Again, it's not that important for us. We have here, Ma in antum dhahabun. You are not gold. He's cussing the poem, he's cussing the other person, doing some of them. So you aren't gold. Don't think that you are gold. Ma, ant, ma in antum dhahabun. If there was no in, if you had ma, if you have ma anta, what would it be? Dhaha? Huh? Dhahabun. But no, we could read. Here's ma anta dhahaban. But here is ma'anta dhahabun because what do we have? In za'idah for emphasis. You are not gold. It's probably a poem, so you don't know the poem, you don't know the whole story. But the point of the matter is because we have uh, in uh, what? In za'idah, ma will not do amal. Correct? 
Wala bi ma'mul al khabari. Again, this is another point. But just mention this, mention this here because it's coming up in the text. If you have the ma'mul ma kulla, is Muslim ma kulla. Yes? If you have wa ma kulla man wa fa an arifu. Part of a poem. If you have the ma'mul of the khabar before the ism. So let's, let's, let's go through this here. What do we have? Uh, we have here. We have ma, yes? What is ma? What's this kind of ma is this? Ma is what? Nafia. Ma. So ma an arif. Ana becomes the? Ism. An arif becomes what? Khabar. What does ana arif mean? I? I don't recognize, I do not know. Who do not know? Kullu man wafa. This becomes a ma'mul, maf'ul bihi, of arif, isn't it? So before the ism, we have the ma'mul or the maf'ul bihi of arif. Therefore this ma does not make the khabar arifa. It makes it arifu. It's arifun, but because of wazan you have arifu. Do you understand? You get it? So, وَمَا كُلُّ مَنْ وَافَ أَنَا أَعْرِفُ Every person who, I do not know every person who fulfills their promise or fulfills their uh, ahad, the responsibility. So, the maf'ul bihi of the khabar comes between the ism and ma. Yes? So, therefore, this ma does not do aman. Have you understood? Acha. Another example, another, another scenario is that if, uh, if what? If there is an illa before the khabar, it will not do amal. Wa ma Muhammadun illa rasul, or not rasulan. Ma is nafiya, why is not rasulan? Because there's an illa. What's the reason behind of this? When ma comes with an illa, is ma for negation or emphasis? So is it really ma nafiya? No. So does it resemble laysa really? Because no. laysa is for emphasis, it's not, never negative. It's ma is for ta'kid. So therefore then, they say rasulun. Yeah, I know, I know you're going to say that. Yes, Laysa can come with illa, but the resemblance is a bit less to the original Laysa. Yes? Okay. You got it? However, remember, Zarf, Jar Majroor, a bit spoilt. You can, the Jar Majroor gets away with murder. You have the spoilt little child? So it's Jar Majroor to get away with stuff. So if you have a Jar Majroor before, so the, the rule is what? You can't have in. Or you can't have the ma'mul of the khabar before the ism. If he's jar majur, say, oh, he's a little boy. Tifrun saghirun. No matter, don't, don't be so strict on him. Yes? So, the ism of the stifam is, is spoiled. It always comes at the beginning. Zarf, you can get away with everything. So what happens here? Ma fil bayti zaydun qa'iman. What does that mean? Zayd is not? He's not standing in the house. Why is qa'iman mansub? Khabaru ma. But the rule is, the ma'mul The ma'mul is before qa'iman But because it's a jar madru, it's a zarf So because this ma'mul Is what? Yeah If for example we had If we had another example And we said in this example If we said for example Ma Fil bayti uh, No sorry Ma Ma amran Ma Ma Amran Ana What would it be? Da di wa What would it be? Ma Ma amran Ana da Ban or bun? Why is it da di bun? Yes, because Between the ma And the ism You have ma Nafia you have ma nafia and you have ana, which is what? Ismu ma. Between the ismu ma, you have what? What do we have? We have the ma'mul, which is the maf'ul bihi in this case, of what? Darib. Therefore, it will not do amal. But if that same ma'mul of the darib is what? A jar majroor. For fil bayti zaydun qa'iman, you can do amal. Ma indal babi zaydun jalisan. So because the ma, between ma and zayd, what do we have? In the bab is a zarf. So then jalisan is ma'mul. Had it not been uh, zarf, then what would have happened? It would have been what? It would have been? 
Jangan alih sun. What's that thing to the bar? Huh? That line on top of the bar. That what? Line on top of the bar. The line on top of the bar. Where? That's a mistake. You mean the same? That's yeah. a that's a typo. You thought you missed out something in your takhti, alif bata. You missed out one haraka. That's a mistake. It's, I think it's a shadda and a fathan. Three things mixed together. I typed it wrong. So example is ma hada bashara. Is ma doing amal here? No. Is it not doing amal? It is. Ma is nafia. Ma is nafia. Hada is what? Ism, Bashar is a khabar. And what is it? What state is it in? Mansub. Therefore, it becomes what? It's ma'mu because all the conditions are being met. The ism comes first. There's nothing between ma and hadha. And there's no illa before the khabar. Therefore, we can say ma hadha bashara ma zaydun qa'iman. Do you understand? And he explains all of this in his text. Yes? What's the text? Wa ma an in dal hijaziyin. The negative ma. According to Ahlul Hijaz, what's the khabar of Ma? So Ma Nafia is Mubtada. Indal Hijaziyin is a hal of Ma Nafia. And Kalaysa is a khabar. According to the people of Hijaz, the negative Ma is like Laysa. Yes? And I said it twice for some reason. It got repetition. Yeah? It repeats the text. Don't worry about that. Yeah? Correct? But there are how many conditions? Four conditions. Condition number one. Intaqaddam al-ismu. Translation. If the, if the ism comes first, if the khabar comes first, it can't do amal. For example, ma musi'un man a'taba will not do amal. And if there's no in za'ida, condition number two, there can't be an in za'ida before the ism. Number three, before the ism, you can't have the ma'mun of the khabar. And number four, the khabar should not have what? Iqtarana khabar bi'illa, it should not have illa. And then here in between, we have what? We have one exemption. We say uh, exception, exemption, or exception. Exception from the rule. Yes? So let's go over again. So according to Ahlul Hijaz, Ma Nafia is like Laysa. Okay? According to Ahlul Hijaz, Ma Nafia is like Laysa. Let's say it twice because it comes text on the board. Yeah? On the condition, if, what condition number one, if the ism comes first. Lam yusbaq, it is not preceded. Sabaqa yasbiqu? To be preceded. It's not preceded by what? In nafia. What kind of in? In? It's not preceded by in and nafia. Nor is it preceded by the ma'mul of the khabar. And number four, and the khabar iqtarana joint. Joint. Attached. It's not joint nor is it attached to illa. It's not joint or attached to? And it's not preceded by an, nor is the ma'mul the khabar there, nor is it attached to illa. Nor is the khabar attached to illa. And then from the, from the rule number three, there's an exception. If the ma'mul of the khabar is a zarf or a jar majur, it will still do amal. Okay? Nahu ma hadha bashara. For example, Ma hadha bashara. This is Ahlul, log, ahlul Hijaz, according to the Loga, the Quranic verses are used. Understood? Yes? Where? Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, I made a mistake here. It's not min and nafia, it's in a za'ida. I made a mistake here, sorry, it's in a za'ida. Jazakallah. Min a za'ida. In a za'ida. Yeah, in Azaida. Uh, Are you following? That's my mistake here. So condition number one, Isam comes first. Condition number two, there's no in Zaida before it. Condition number three, the ma'mul of the khabar doesn't come before, except Zarf and Jar Majrul. And condition number four, the khabar should not have illa. If these conditions are met as it is met in Mahada Bashara, then it will do amal. Do you understand? The khabar is not attached. There's no illa before the khabar, basically. There's no illa before the khabar. Correct? Wa kadha, ay, like laysa. Kadha, la, is pointed towards laysa. Like laysa is la and nafia. This becomes the khabar muqaddam. This is the khabarun. Muqaddamun. And la and nafia 
is the is mubtadan un muakharun. So la an is also like what? La an is also like laysa. Ibn Hisham, his opinion is in fish shi'ri. It only happens in poetry. Between others have, have it in nothing as well, but that's not our discussion. He's saying here, you hardly ever get it anyways. So in poetry, specifically in poetry, specifically in poetry, la and nafia behave just like ma nafia and la. Like laysa, sorry. Correct? You following? So it has the same four conditions plus one more condition. Misharati on the condition. On the condition of tankir. What does tankir mean? Opinion. That's in the Hijam's opinion. That in poetry only. Others say it can be used in non other than poetry as well. We just keep in the Hijam's opinion. On the condition, tankir, what's tankir mean? Noon kafra. Nakira. Nakira. Yeah, nakira ma'rifa. So ta'rif and tankir. It's what? Tankir? Nakira. On the condition that both of its ma'mul. Are Nakira. So, just like Laysa, we also have La and Nafia in poetry. On the condition that both the Ism of La and the Khabar of La, both Ma'amun are going to be what? Nakira. If both are not Nakira, it doesn't do Amal. So, you tell me. La and Nafia. Fish Shari. In poetry. Uh, uh, in poetry if on the condition. On the condition that it's ma'mul. Not ma ma'mulani, ma'mulani, ma'mulaiha. It's true. It's both it's ma'mul. Or? In both it's both it's ma'mul. Yeah. And he has a poem here. Ta'azza. Ta'azza is from ta'azza, ta'azzaya. And then the ya dropped off. Majzum uh, hasfil harf, hasfil akhir. Ta'azza. Ay, tasabbar. Be patient, be patient. Fala shay'un ala al-ardi baqiya. What's our, what's our uh, reference here? Our reference is, la is what? Nafia. What's shay'un becoming? Ismula. And baqiya becomes what? Khabaru. La. Is, is, is la doing amal? Rahman is la doing amal? It makes his ism marfu' and it makes his khabar mansub. Because and what both are what? Nakira. Both are what? Nakira. So, so ta'azza, be patient. Nothing on the face of the earth will remain forever. La shay'un ala al-ardi baqiya. Be patient. Because, fa, because nothing on the face of the earth will remain forever. Wala wazarun waqiyan mimma qadallah. Wala wazarun. Bima qadallahu waqiya And wazar means a fort, safety, sa saviour Yes? So what la wazarun? Again, la is what? La is nafia And wazar is what? Ismu Ismu la And waqin is what? Waqin becomes Khabaru la And because both are nakira Tanween here, tanween here both are nakira, therefore what happens? It becomes what? It becomes? It is amal. Marfu, ism is marfu and the khabar is mansu. And nothing, and so no saviour, hisnun, no fort, no saviour, no refuge, can save from what Allah has decreed. Ta'azza, fala shay'un ala al-ardi baqiya. Wala shay'un, wala wazarun mimma qadallahu waqiya. Understood? Yes? And he explains that. So similarly, this like Laysa is La and Nafia in poetry specifically, on the condition that both is Ma'amul are Nakira, like this poem, but we just explained previously. The last one is Lata wa Lata. Ay, Lata is also like Laysa. Lata is also like what? Laysa. Lata is also like Laysa. Lakin, however. Lakin, however. Filhini, however, he means. 
No time, time. Ela hin. Umata un ela hin. Hin means time. So meaning, lata is for negating, but only negating what? Time. I can say lata zaidun qa'iman. Yes? Only used for what? Time. Yes? First rule is, lata is like laysa, but lata is only to negate time. Second rule is that because we always know that lata is only for time. Yes? So the ism is going to be time, anyways. So la yujma ubayna juz ayha. Both adza. Both? Both juz of lata will not be mentioned. Wa la yujma ubayna juz ayha. Both juz, both parts, both ma'mul. Again, juz here basically means both ma'mul. Both ma'mul of both parts. Both parts of uh, lata will not come together. Both parts of lata. You never have lata, ism, and khabar. You have lata and khabar. You won't have the ism. So in theory, you have lata and either ism or khabar. Yes? But in practicality, you only get the khabar usually. The marfu is normally mahzuf. It's understood. Because the ism is going to be heen, time. Yes? So for example, I would say, well, so let's say you start talking. I see you laughing. Why are you laughing? Oh, see? Lata hadal waktu hina dihkin. So it means what? Lata hadal waktu hina dihkin. So hadal wakt is what? The ism of lata. And hina dihkin becomes the but because this will have heen here, lata we know is for heen. What's the point of saying this over and over again? So lata has the meaning of heen, then you have walk, then you have heen again. How many times you want to say the word heen? Forget it. So you say, lata heen a dihkin. No? If you ask me a question, I don't understand this. So lata heen a su'alin. It's not time to ask a question now. Time to write the answer in that exam. Yes? You start eating in the class. You sickly got Snickers bar and leaf. See? Lata heen a aklin. It's not time to eat. And the ism is going to be mahdhub. You understand the ism from the context. Yes? Do you understand? Everybody following? So it comes in the Quran. Walata hina manas. Walata hina manas. So lata is the nafia. Where is the ism? It's marfu'. Is what? Wal ghalib hadfun is mahdhub. The marfu, i.e., the ism. Is marfu mahdhub? Is which is marfu is mahdhub? What does ghalib mean? Usually, ghalib usually. Hina manas. So this is not a time. So on the qiyamah, wana daw, they will call each other for help. Wala tahina manas. It's not time to call for help. Do you understand? Wala tahina manas. And both Jews, and both Jews of, um, both Jews of, lat so lat is for heen. And you only get the khabar, and the ism is always marfu, and it always has the meaning of time. It's not time for lesson now because lesson is finished. Yes? For him? It's not time for questions, not time for anything else. It's time to say subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, wa nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta, wa nastaghfiru wa natubu ilayhi.